And that's about enough of that. Um, this is my seventh video blog. I can't believe I managed to do so many. I thought it'd be a one hit one, but to be completely honest with you, but they're still going. Um, first off, thank you for all the uh, reviews I got back for number six. It was a great help to me. I just like hearing other people's thoughts. So to um, guess them back was really great. So I thank you all for that, guys. Um, I've got quite a few to get through as usual, so I'm going to kick things straight off. <clears throat> my future wife-to-be, my girlfriend, Shani, has asked me, you accidentally eat some radioactive vegetables. They were good, but what's even cooler is that they endow you with a superpower of your choice. What is that power? Um, I'd probably have to say that superpower of my choice would be invisibility. I'd like to be invisible for a day. I know I'd just do this for kicks, but I would stand by a crosswalk and just keep pressing the button over and over and over again so cars have to keep stopping. I think that'd be pretty entertaining. Yeah, I have a sad mind. But uh, yeah, I think the power of invisibility, failing that, the power to fly. I quite like the power to fly. Yeah, so um, thank you for your question, my beloved. Um, I have a question from Captain. I have three questions from Captain. Um, if you had an apartment with an extra room that you could put anything in, what would it be? Um, I'd probably have a spare room where I could put all the multiple titles that Oblivion has won. <laughs> no studio laugh today? Well, anyway, I'd probably have a room, realistically, which I could put a pool table in. I mean, I quite like playing pool, so if I could put a pool table in there, I suppose the obvious thing would be a hot tub as well, 40-inch plasma TV. i just turn it into a little Ben room. Hashtag Ben room. <laughs> um, why does my booking suck? Um, maybe because you live in Canada? No, your booking doesn't suck at all. I really like everything you do with 3WX. And I think that the way that you've incorporated Riot Act and the originals is pretty cool. It's going to do some great things. I can already sense that. So can everybody else involved with uh, 3XW. So yeah, by no means does your book in suck. I just have to reinforce that to you, my Canadian friend. I've learned so much about you today. I, I, I have no idea. And if you don't want straight Shani, may I have her? No, she doesn't get a say in this. This is between us. You know the score. Me, you, Dawn, Duel. Be there or be square. That was my evil eyes. <laughs> Thank you for your questions. Um, Nolene's asking me three top tips you would give to somebody for creating their very first creator wrestler. Um, the first top tip I could probably offer somebody would have to be to really try and get inside the mind of the character you want to create. So if you want to create a heel, um, trying to think of a typical, let's say a monster heel, you really want to try and look into some of the work that Kane has done or perhaps even um, Abyss and just look at the way they operate but then you want to make yourself different to them so really try and get in the mind of superstars that you want to follow the gimmick of and then work on ways to change that. Um, second tip I could offer you is to keep practicing your promo writing when you're converting what you want into a promo, it's got to try and stand out as much as possible. So you've got to try and put, uh, if you're cutting a serious promo, you've got to try and use as many good words as you can. Uh, just bust them out. Uh, never hesitate. Basically, go with what your gut is telling you to write in a promo, because that's where my best stuff comes from. It'll come from my gut into my brain, and I was about to say out my mouth, but through my fingers and... On to OWU, so yeah. A third tip I could probably offer would be to really try and cement your superstar as a legitimate threat. So you've got to carry your superstar well. I mean, it's all very well saying, for example, Oblivion arrives at the arena. Uh, yeah, and that's boring. Whereas you could go into more detail and be more precise. Uh, Oblivion arrives at the arena with a confident smirk on his face as usual. He looks around as he heads through the parking lot, knowing that today could be his day as he is challenging Neville Ryan for the NIWA Championship. That's just an example of what it could be. So, uh, yeah, something like that. Uh, they would be my top three tips. Thank you very much for that, Nolene. And that takes me to page six. 
And there's a question from uh, Adam Awesome again. Um, will you ever shave off that goatee small amount of moustache, even for a clunk eyed bar? I've actually shaved it off. I shaved it off yesterday. So I have a clean shaven jaw structure right now. I got a lot of stubble actually, it's quite irritant. But yeah, um I've shaved it off. Just for you, my darling. <laughs> um if me, Mark or Mikhail ever did realistically become king slash prime minister of the UK, what would you do? <laughs> nah, I'm just kidding. I don't actually know what I'd do. I'd probably run and take cover and hide. And then get Oblivion to kill you all. Because he kills guys. I don't. <laughs> um, being that you're more ma masculine than me. From experience. What's the trick to winning guys over from your point of view. When girls hit on you. Even though you aren't gay. Um, if a girl is to successfully hit on me. She's got to be uh, original. I mean I can't deal with brick walls. If there's no personality there at all. She ain't getting my attention. Um, girls, they're frustrating at the best of times. And, I mean, being pretty is a bonus, but I find that a lot of the prettiest girls are brick walls with no personality. Like, I was uh, recently meeting up with this girl, and I told a couple of the guys on OWU that she was a brick wall, an absolute brick wall, no personality. I'd try and make a conversation with a decent long question, and the reply would be, oh, yeah. You know, there's just no time for that. So, be original and have a personality is the key for me. Um, and, oh my God, your singing was awesome. Aside from the horrendous high note at the end, you got to do more. It was not horrendous. I nailed that high note. If the Backstreet Boys were still together, they would be begging for me to join. And I would be the next hit sensation, I'm telling you. Bigger than Bieber. Fucking runt. Yeah, I don't like Bieber. I'm sorry. I know you like Bieber. I know you love Bieber, but I don't like Bieber. I hope I didn't break your heart. And thank you for your questions. Um, I need to keep going here before I lose momentum, man. Should I try and do a, an American accent? Uh, would, would I really pass in the States if I was to talk like this? I mean, give me your reviews and um, just drop a comment below if, if you think that I can accurately uh, pull off an American accent. I think that was quite appalling, but I tried. I tried. I think it would be far more entertaining to see some of you guys try and pull off my accent, because you will be there for days. Um, Jigsaw, thank you for asking me a couple of questions, Jigsaw. Who do you think is considered the craziest out of my three creator wrestlers in the Devil Reject? Um, Nathan Myers. Uh, he's got the look of Mick Thompson from Slipknot, so I definitely like that. Uh, the, the mask and everything is extremely intimidating. So I think so far, if you're basing him on this mysterious persona and everything else, I'd have to say the craziest would be Nathan Myers. So more Nathan Myers too. I love everything you do with Slade and Stephanie, so to see some more Nathan Myers would be pretty cool. Um, who do you believe is the top prospect down in NXT right now that could make an impact on the main roster if they were called up? Cassius Ono. I don't even have to think about it. Cassius Ono. He's ready. He's done all his... He's paid his dues in the Indies, uh, in Ring of Honor, in Japan, all over the world. It's now time we saw Cassius Ono on WWE TV. Cassius Ono. Cassius Ono. Cassius. Motherfucking Ono. Um, behind Cassius Ono, Corey Graves. Corey Graves is great as well, and I really think that he could, he could work quite well on the main roster now. So, uh, yeah, that'd be my thoughts on that. Thanks for your questions, dude. Um, uh, <laughs> my gorgeous girlfriend's asking me more questions. I feel so honoured. Um, if your name wasn't actually Ben, what would you like to be called? I think either Max or Stephen. Or you can call me Caitlin. Um, no, Max or Stephen. I don't know why I've always had uh, an infatuation for the names Max or Stephen. I think it's because I like the letters X and uh, V. Uh, yeah, so it's like the Max or Steven. Uh, yeah, that works for me. Max or Steven. Although I don't think I fit either of those names. Personally, I don't know. Captain, if you if your answer to Sean's question isn't Benjagaden, bringer of storms, I will be disappointed. I'm sorry, I did not mean to disappoint you. We'll go with Benjagaden, bringer of storms. 
just for you, my friend. Well, I'm still going to stick with Max and Steven. What about Maximus, Stevenus, Benj again, bringer of stones? Imagine that in a hashtag. <laughs> um, um, Mikhail, have you ever worn, I call him Mikhail again, it's Michael, sorry Michael. Um, have you ever worn a butt chip? A what now? I I don't know how to give this question a dignified response. A butt chip. What is a butt chip? I, I is that is that even legal? I I don't know what a butt chip is. I don't think I want to know what a butt chip is. <laughs> um, Adam Carson is asking me on a night out. How many STDs must you collect in order for it to be considered worth it? None. STDs are bad. Bad, bad. They're not badges of honour. So, zero STDs is a night that was worth it. That's just me. Um, do another run to get people to join PWF and somehow bribe them with your anus. Well, if you flash back to my vlog number six, I actually did a bit of twerking and booty shaking to some Beyonce. I'm not doing that again because I'm not drunk at all today. I was yesterday. So, um, I can't bribe them with my anus, but I can plead with them once more to give this thread a chance. Adam is putting in one hell of a lot of effort on uh, PWF. He's writing full matches as well. The only thread that actually does that at the moment in OWU. So, yeah, please, 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 for me, Go and give PWF a chance. I'd really appreciate that, guys, and so would Adam. Thank you. Um, how helpful have I been on NIWA recently? Incredibly. Your contributions. Okay, I can hear two old women arguing outside my house. Anyway, yeah, your contributions have been great, and I really appreciate everything that you've done. Uh, from match right into pitching ideas to try and help me out in as many ways as possible so a big credit to you for that my friend really appreciate it and I will repay the faith as and when I can and you know that so thank you for that dude if we don't get laid when we go to Raw will you hate me or should I hate you I will hate you but you should probably hate me I, I, I'm, I'm the more experienced of the two as I've been around this earth a little bit longer but I'll hate you because it's your neck of the woods, man. You you know how to reel the Manchester fish in. They come swimming. This is the worst fish impersonation in the history of mankind. I'm going to stop doing that. So, yeah, we'll just hate each other, but we'll have a good time. <laughs> um, lastly, sing our song to me. When I see your face. It's not a, I, I can't. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. I can't sing much more than that. Yeah, our song is by Bruno Mars, Just The Way You Are. I will do it on one of the future vlogs, but right now, I can't. <laughs> I want to sing, but I can't. So yeah, much love. Thank you for your questions, Adam. And the final question I had was from, I think I'm pronouncing this right. Please correct me if I'm wrong. Oridion? Or Oridion? Or Oriadon? Oriadon! Oriadon! Oriadon. I think if I just read things properly, uh, well, what am I like? You gotta love me. Um, since everyone else wants their ego stroked, did you know anything about myself or Dustin Shaw before I came over? And what are your thoughts on Dustin's bits of work thus far on NIWA? I have heard stories of Dustin Shaw. Um, whenever a lot of the old WWE stuff is referred to, uh, he's on a list of names that comes up. So, um, I am pretty confident that Dustin Shaw will have a solid career in NIWA because he is a legend of E-Fed Wrestling from what I understand. So it's really, really a great plus for me to have you on board, man. Really looking forward to working with you as well and just sort of getting you involved in the swing of NIWA because I try to include as many people as possible with as many angles as possible. I try to keep it fairly fresh and, uh, and you know, trying lots of different things at the moment. So it's great to have him on board going by his reputation and which brings me on to the bits of work you've done thus far yeah I'm high up on that too and it's just it gives me um, a great boost to know that you're going to be constantly providing us with stuff so it's cool to have you on board and I'm really looking forward to what else comes from Dustin Shaw in the future so that'll be pretty damn cool thank you for that 
Oriadon. Oriadon, yeah. I t please correct me if I'm pronouncing that wrong. Hashtag Oriadon. <laughs> Um, and then I had one last question, which was from Adam Carson. Now, this is, I'm probably going to butcher this. Who is the most fantabulous, sasmatastic, um, dysfunctional, anal rapist, condom, meaning, snitsky, dicking, ball dripping, camels dipping, Ginger flicking son of a bitch on OWU. Um, let's go with Mark because I don't even know what that like forty-seven letter word is. I I Mark, we'll go with Mark. It works. Thank you all for your questions, guys. Um, I'm gonna tie this one up. Uh, there will be more stuff coming from me soon additional videos to the blogs they're going to be very entertaining i will be entertaining you a lot more thank you for all your questions guys no sign of you this week peace love from ben and give me some more questions for number eight